What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to the new 7.5 Warbots update with a Mark III fully maxed new weapon Puncher uh, on two Orochis and M. Bridget, the new legendary pilot for the Orochis as well. That adds another ability charge but reduces the stealth count, uh, cool, uh, you know, dur duration overall. In my opinion, the robot already had too much stealth before, now it's even worse. Ugh, not, not a fan of this. But let's go and test the new Puncher. Do you think it's gonna be good, ladies and gentlemen? Let's see, but first, welcome to Atlas VPN, today's sponsor and the best way to protect and encrypt your internet connection to keep hackers, trackers, malicious links and ads away while also enjoying maximum internet speed and finding the best prices for your online shopping. Use my link in the video description for a huge discount on a 3 year plan for only $1.39 a month. See, without a VPN, every site knows exactly where I am, what internet provider I use and what my IP address is. But as soon as I route my connection through Atlas VPN, in this case choosing a server in the US, New York, the page and everyone else will no longer know where I really am. And the best thing is, with only one subscription, you can protect all your devices at the same time, no matter if on Windows, iOS or Android. So again, check out my link in the video description and pinned comment for a crazy discount on a 3 year plan with only $1.39 per month and a 30 days money back guarantee. PS, using online services from a different location might allow you to see things you could otherwise not see. All right, so here we are back, ladies and gents, and let's rock with the new Puncher Mark III. On the test server, <laughs> the Google service is stopping, what the heck. Um, on the test server, the Puncher was good, but it wasn't so that you could instantly kill things, right? Uh, let's see if it's a Mark III. This guy sh fa face shifted immediately. And now he's going down from the second salvo. And you see, you have a lot of reloading and firing in between. So you'll constantly fire empty your weapon and you'll constantly reload. So what the puncher basically is, it's an assassin type uh, burst damage weapon. You go in, you unleash a full burst salvo of a lot of damage with lockdown in included. And then you, you basically get out and reload and you do this over and over again. And of course this means that the Orochi is probably the best setup for this job. What we're taking down right here is, is a Revenant robot, a really tanky robot and it gets quick killed relatively quickly, right? And uh, so yeah, it's, a, it's an excellent weapon for the Orochi. It basically supports and underlines the playstyle that the Orochi has all the... Uh, anyways, and now with the three stealth charges, where each charge is just enough time to fire empty your, uh, your punchers, it's basically a perfect sim symbiosis of weapon and robot right there. Seriously, man. This is like the best combo that you can put onto the Orochi, aside from maybe Bane or Ember or also, for example, Hail. Hail is also very, very popular uh, on the Orochi and rightfully so. Um, I didn't notice that he was leeching when I played this yesterday. Um, I had to re-record my audio over this video because I made a... Somehow the audio again wasn't recorded in the first run. Um, but yeah, so you see we already easily score a godlike here, absolutely ch uh, chanceless the enemy. Uh, the firepower is high, the stealths are many, and uh, the reload is short. I think this is a good, uh, good s <laughs> summary of events that is t happening here. Let's first get rid of this dude. Uh, uh, oh, uh, 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 yep, one salvo and uh, the Ravana was gone. Don't ask me why I didn't finish the Blitz before taking on a 100% Ravana. I don't know. I must have been brain AFK right there. I don't know. <laughs> so let's go and kill that. Demeter, why am I not firing? Oh, I, I get, must have not realized he was already... And the Google service is stopping again. What is happening? Wow, wait a minute. Did I just, with one magazine, kill two guys? All right, look. One full magazine on the punchers. Let me finish him off. Drup. Yep, that was one fourth of the magazine. And uh, Google service is stopping. That buffed me, right? That's the Google buff that I'm getting. And then, birds, sang. The rest of the ammo is basically one swift kill of the Ao Ming. Of course, remember this is the same type of weapon that also Shredder, uh, Shredder is from. So you basically have a spread. The further away the enemy is, the less damage you do. Look at max range. This is almost max range and I didn't kill him. I only did one third of the damage, right? So you lose like two thirds of your damage if you fire at a small regular robot at max range. If you fire at a large titan, you may still be dealing near next or almost to your maximum damage. Uh, but a smaller robot at the distance, you'll miss a lot of shots, right? 
it spreads. And there is no pilot skill that will reduce the spread. I already checked. There's nothing other than uh, just adding like 3% more damage uh, as a weapon skill for your pilot. So um, yeah, nothing that will reduce the spread. And I think Shredder doesn't have that either, right? So there is no pilot skill that has this. Let's go and fight the Ao Chun. He wants to go into a flight, but the thing is, he underestimates how fast you get killed by this weapon and how fast the Orochi crosses the tunnel. And woots, there we are. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like the content and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate if you guys would do this. It would be awesome. Uh, also, remember, we should have a giveaway coming up sometime soon, I hope. And the other thing is, um, I already made uh, other videos of the new 7.5 update. The new Luchador, level 150 max titan. Top right corner or in the video description if you haven't yet seen the video from yesterday. And of course, the other videos are planned with the other content, right? Um, so uh, yeah, Basilisk Sharenga, for example, is one of them. We have, we're going to test uh, the new Venom weapon on, uh, on medium robots like Typhon and uh, what's it called? Um, Fafnir. So yeah, stay tuned for all the news and stuff. Uh, these, this guy's coming way too close to me. Let me finish off this guy real quick and then lock him down. All right, so now I'm back, back in the action. Ultra this or ultra this? I don't know. Um, victory or Vitali. We did four million damage almost. That was uh, that was okay for two Orochis with this. Would we have done more with Bane? I doubt it. I think this weapon actually is on par with uh, flamethrowers and Bane in terms of dealing damage. It also adds the extra range and the lockdown mechanic to it. So it, it is overall a really useful thing. Um, let me see how fast I can break through a shell shield frontally. This guy has taken a few hits and now he's coming in. He's gonna be exposed and... Uh, okay, that's the side shield, but it's already broken. And he tur it turns out that he also has that purple shield popping up every th three, three seconds. So we're gonna have to stop firing and then resume fire after... Yeah, after this happened. He's quite tanky, man, with that shell. So, but this is it. He should be gone down now. Yep. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Somebody behind me. And I got, I got a suppression charge from somebody. Who did that? Huh? Wait, it can't be the Scorpion. And it can't be the Orochi. Who just did a suppression charge on me. I'm, I'm confused. I'm really confused now. But it, my ability was deactivated. I took an EMP charge. Maybe there's an Erebus somewhere on the battlefield and uh, and he hit me with uh, with his ability charge? I don't know. This is the only thing I can think of. Oh yeah, there is an Erebus over there. But I was under the roof. How did he hit me? Oh well. So let's get away from him. The Orochi is fast enough to dodge the shell robots um, with their explosion. And bats rampage and you have so much burst damage output that you usually get the kills too I think this would be a really good weapon also for free for all I haven't played free for all in a while uh, But I think I might try it again with this type of setup here I think it would do so well because every time you unleash your firepower you have such a high alpha damage uh, Or burst damage that you can almost rely on uh, on getting the kill right there if somebody else fires at the enemy with other weapons, you have a high probability of being the one who gets the kill. So that Orochi here, he took a one-on-one -on -one against uh, the other Orochi, which is me. Um, he must have ran out of stealth abilities because I was able to take him down then. Um, but I also remember I have more stealth abilities than he does, right? Because of the legendary pilot that he probably doesn't have yet. Uh, his ability, however, does one second longer duration. Uh, that means he's got two seconds longer per his ability, and I got three abilities with uh, six seconds each, or how much is it? Five, six. Um, therefore, I have two or three seconds longer than he does. And uh, also, during that longer stealth, you have already recharged half another stealth, so it adds up to more and more stealth that you have. And, uh, and this is also the problem, is that the Orochi recharges its stealth while being in stealth, you know? So you come out of two stealths, you already have a third one. And then at 50% you get a fourth one, and so it's impossible to kill the Orochi without at least four stealths on the regular Orochi. With a legendary pilot, you can bank on having at least five stealths against you. That's, I don't know, that's 40 seconds of pure stealth with two heavy weapons finishing you off at the same time. What are you gonna do about that? You're just gonna be dead. And that's, that's the, the problematic I run into when I try to record, for example, with the Erebus. Uh, some fun setups like Thermites or, or, or some other stuff and there's an Orochi that decides that, okay, you know what, this guy has to die. 
there's next to nothing I can do about it. 40 seconds of stealth, and then I'm not even having meta weapons. I basically get a free, I'm a free snack for the dude, you know? And uh, it's, that's, that's the meta these days. And the same, the same with the Fafnir, who doesn't even have to use shield bypass because he's got it built in now with a legendary pilot. Meta robots get things built in and the regular robots do not. Uh, whereas the regular robots that are already weaker, they should get stuff built in because then they would be relevant, you know? Uh, whereas the meta robots are relevant anyways, this would be the ideal balancing in my book, but it's not the one that uh, apparently works in the industry for the game developers. Yeah, so uh, let's finish off this old school, uh, what's it called? The, nah, it has a name, retro, the retro shell. I like that thing, man. It looks cool. I like the retro shell. And look, at we're at, at max range now. Fully max range at 500 meters, pretty much. And see, we easily lock him down instantly. Or we would have, but he had the anti-control. And we did a good amount of damage to him, too. Let's see how much damage this does against Titans. Okay, he's now reflecting. So let's go at the Ao Chun, at uh, the Ao Ming up there. Look at this. The, okay, he gets already taken out by somebody else. But there he is. Oh, look at this. He's taking a lot of damage from this. It is a very damaging weapon, of course. Um, <clears throat> only against small robots at range, you're gonna have a little missing. Wow, we're already through his shield. Wh dude, one magazine. Let's go back a second. He's full. He's got a full physical shield as well. I cannot say what level of robot he has. He went down rather quickly. I wouldn't. I would say he's probably somewhere between Mark One Level One. As, uh, between Mark 2 level 1 and Mark 2 level 12. Somewhere in between. I don't think he's at Mark 3 yet. Um, but uh, take a look. And that's already breaking breaking the physical shield here. Half depleted and the half, other half goes right into his robot. Of course, he you know we weren't the only one shooting him at that moment. But we were the highest damage output that was coming in by far. So getting him. Now I have a, phase, uh, um, a reload unfortunately. That's why he gets into another flight. But that's okay, because I still have a stealth, and after my stealth, I have another stealth. And so they can never really deal damage to me, which is always the thing against the Orochi. Finishing him off, finishing him- Ah! Hey! Stupid shield. Finishing him off, and then... Where is the other dude above me? I can't aim at him. He's somewhere above. Ah! And the Elming is gone. Ah! Ah! What? He's got like one HP. There we go. Now the Elming is gone. <laughs> Gee. Oh, whoa. He's, he's uh, okay. I'm not gonna get into another stealth. Nah, nah. He hit me pretty good. Nice aiming there, sir. So here's a few seconds with the Erebus that has three of them. I'm going to make a separate video also with the Erebus, right? Th the fully maxed Erebus now with three punchers and... Uh, the new legendary pilot for the Erebus 2, which increases its damage output by another 10% for 7 seconds after activating the ability. 5.4 million damage. Now, one thing I want to show you as well is that the uh, Puncher, similar to the Shredder, has a special ability as well. Due to the many hits it does so so fast, you reach, you apply drone effects incredibly fast, right? If you have, for example, the suppressor drone chip that we have right here on your drone, uh, I'm guessing that one chip might be enough to apply suppression very reliably and fast to your enemy because this is also how Shredder worked and I think Puncher does the same thing. So you have the ability to deal damage insanely quickly with burst fire and then you have this instant lockdown that you apply as well. And then thirdly, your drone chips are applying effects insanely quickly as well. So you, you also have a suppression on top built in. So it's a very, very dangerous setup. Uh, and if there was a medium shredder, I think it would also be dangerous on the, sh uh, on the Fafnir. Um, but yeah, so I think this has been it. This was the video I wanted to show you. There will be more of the new 7.5 content coming out. Um, and um, yeah, also thanks for Atlas VPN for sponsoring this video. And you guys out there, hopefully you have a great weekend ahead of you. Uh, and um, yeah, see you around in the next video. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.